What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cloudy DL back with another banger video. Today we got a build video on the plague. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty nasty. Oh brother, this guy stinks! First we got Thanos. So hey yo, what the fuck? First we got the Natophobia. For each injured, dying, or hooked survivor, all survivors receive a 2% repair, sabotage, and totem cleansing speed penalty. If there are four injured, dying, or hooked survivors, there's an additional 12% penalty to repair, sabotage, and totem cleansing speed. And with the plague, you know they're gonna be not wanting to cleanse, so that 12% penalty is gonna be pretty crazy. On top of that, we have Dying Light. Your obsession gains a 33% action speed bonus to unhooking and healing other survivors. Each time you hook a survivor other than the obsession, if the obsession is alive, gain a token. If the obsession is alive all survivors who are not the obsession get three percent penalty to repair healing and sabotage speeds for each token so on top of the dying light we have the thanatophobia then we have hex plaything talk about a time waster huh the first time you hook a survivor they become cursed and hex plaything activates on the dull totem the cursed survivor suffers from the oblivious status effect until the hex plaything is cleansed and on top of this hex plaything's totem aura is revealed to the cursed survivor within 16 meters of it and for the first 90 seconds only the cursed survivor can cleanse this totem and then to top it off we have Pinamento. So if they do end up cleansing that totem, we're going to go ahead and rekindle that totem. The first hex totem decreases survivor's repair. The first hex totem decreases survivor's repair speed by 30%. The second one decreases survivor's healing speed by 30%. The third one decreases survivor's recovery speed. The fourth one decreases survivor's exit gate opening speed. And the fifth one blocks every single totem. This build I like to call the time waster. It wastes a lot of time for the survivors. They don't know really what they're doing. They don't know what to do because they're always sick. They're always injured. And when they're always injured, they get a penalty for it. So they either got to cleanse, let me get my power, or they got to stay injured and just waste a lot of time. Let's get right into this build. I hope you guys enjoy this. If you do enjoy this build, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what other builds you guys want me to try or would like to see. And I'll see you guys in the match. Let's get right into it. All right, let's see what we can get into, boys. Yeah, let's go. No, corrupt wouldn't be bad either. Make him force, uh, force him to get on certain gens. I don't think corrupt would be bad for this ability either. Maybe swap it out for like uh, the natophobia or something. Just gotta kind of find what gens are gonna be on first. What's up, Fang? How's it going? Use that pallet. Use that pallet, Fang. Yeah, there we go. Get sick. We love it. We love it. She's gonna run me to every single pallet, huh? She's a looper, boys. She's a looper. She's gonna drop this. Oh my God, she greeted it. She's gonna greet it again. She's not gonna greet it again. She's 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 a, she's a good looper. She is a good looper. We got two gems on already. Oh, dead hard? There's somebody here. Other than her. Uh, I thought there was somebody here other than her. I guess not, maybe? She is. Oh my god, we fucked up so he heavy. Somebody's over here, too. Wait, somebody just walked right past me. Am I, am I? Oh, she's right here. Okay, we get. Okay. Whoa, that dead hard was crazy. She's a dead hard gamer. That was a really good dead hard. She's got a window there. We get her anyway. All right, nice. All right. This is where we start to pick up steam. This is where we start to pick up steam. All 
All right, nice, 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 nice. Perfect. Go ahead and get her hooked up. Over to the Claudette. Okay, now the one that's not sick has to get sick. Unless Fang wants to go and get her. Yeah, that's where we really start to pick up steam. I would do Pendimento, but we're kind of in a good spot right here. They got two gems done. And they're probably working on another one, so we kind of got to try to force something here. Try to force the trade or something. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, we definitely got to force the trade here. We definitely need to force the trade here because, uh... Make that. Nice. All right. That's a forced trade right there. Well, not back up, but... No, I mean. There would be a lot of, uh... So, their, their gen speed is going to be really bad. And they're all injured, so... Uh, we're going to go ahead and get this Pentimento... We're gonna get her off the hook. Yep, they got her off the hook. We're gonna go ahead and start rekindling these uh, totems. Get this Pentimento going. They haven't been cleansing, so we haven't been able to get our power, but we have been getting uh, Dying Light and Pentothobia out of it. Some some, uh, some good value. This is a good team, though. They know what they're doing. So. We get this. Oh, she dead hearted. Nice. Very nice, Dead Harden. Uh, I don't know. And they, they really, they really crank them gents. They like really crank them gents. Go ahead and swing, Dead Harden. Go ahead and get her. They really crank them gents. I doubt Claudette's dead. See if we can get some haste out of this. And we're hindered. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. We'd be a lot faster right now if we didn't smash that pumpkin. There we go. We shouldn't even be going for her. This is a good looper. She's going to take us away. We're not going to go for her. No point. It doesn't make sense. Maybe we try to force another trade. All right. She got rid of uh, Pinamenta. And yeah, maybe we try to force another trade here. Does she have Dead Hard? Oh, she's going to comp corner. There's a, the funny thing is, there's a hook over here, so it doesn't really matter. She's going to comp corner, but there's a hook right here, so. Okay. Let's see if we can turn this around. This is, uh. Might be a GG's, though. They've been doing gins really fast. I just seen scratch marks. She's over here. Where? Where, though? I went this way. Got the Nia right here. Get her down. They just cleanse the totem right there. We're gonna do it just cause. She's dead. I didn't touch this gen. Probably on this gen. Up here there. Put the restack in the gen. Get her down. The Fang also now has nowhere to run. Got her down. All right, this is good. Nice dead hard. Go for the Rebecca. Get her down. That's the GG's. Unless one of them has unbreakable. Wow. Ooh. Unless this is like uh unbreakable totem. If this is uh, exponential. We're gonna go ahead, go ahead and get rid of it just in case. I don't think Rebecca has unbreakable. No, that's a GG's. Unless she has power struggle? Power struggle? Nope. Wow, we really turned that game around. That was going so poorly for us. GG's boys, that is crazy. GG's, well played. I definitely that that was definitely a four man on comms. Because they coordinated going to that gen and everything. That was crazy. GG's. I didn't think I was going to win that one. I thought I was maybe going to get like a 2k. But, uh... Because they weren't cleansing. We weren't getting our power. Uh... They were smart about it. But, uh... I think the... Eventually the build caught up to them. 
the dying light and the the, the nato phobia and stuff like that really caught up to him and they had to cleanse totem so ggs well played wow talk about a comeback guys I, I think i messed up at the beginning trying to chase that fang a little bit too long but we ended up getting the w in the end we had to force some trades and i honestly when we got the nia i didn't think she was death hook so that really helped out a lot the last three were on the, the one gen together man they you know that could have went that could have went both ways uh ggs to them ggs to that team that was crazy uh if you guys did enjoy the video make sure to drop a like Make sure to drop a comment on what builds I should be doing. And make sure to drop a comment on what builds you want to see me do next. And I hope you guys enjoyed the build, guys. I really put some time and effort into this build to try to see what really worked with Plague. And I think this works really well. So if you guys enjoyed the video, like I said, make sure to drop a like. Make sure to drop a comment on what builds you want me to do next. Make sure to drop a sub, baby. We're on the road to 1K subs. Hopefully by the end of this year, we've been growing really big. And I appreciate all the support, guys. Thank you guys so much for all the love. I'll see you guys in the next matches, the next video. Body deal. Signing out.